Technology and learning resources have never been more important than today. Hi, my name is William Clark, and today we'll be learning about Otter AI. Traditional class settings, taking notes, listening to lectures can become overwhelming, especially for the adult learner that has many different responsibilities. Today we will learn an easier and more efficient way of taking notes with Otter.ai. Otter AI is a digital learning resource that reproduces dialogue into digital notes to be easily shared, searched, and stored. Adults need ways to become more efficient as variables such as parenting and job requirements can easily take away planned study and research time. I love to read, and when it comes to reading books that I enjoy, I usually take notes. But sometimes I don't have pieces of paper, pens, pencils, or highlighters to be able to take proper notes. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could talk to the book and speak the notes that you wanted to take? Well, now you can. How many students juggle being at least a spouse, a parent, a student, and have a full-time job as well? Otter AI is an important learning resource because its user-friendly approach allows adults at any level of digital literacy to do more learning in less time. Time is what we all fight against. There are only so many hours in the day we can be productive. Using Otter AI creates efficiencies in time management within each and every aspect of a person's day. Wouldn't it be nice if you could drive to and from work or to and from the grocery store listening to an audiobook and someone was taking notes the entire time? Finally, when the day calms down after coming home from work and beginning the next job, being a student, a father, and a husband, Otter AI makes life a lot easier when you can do multiple things at once. The best part of it all is Otter AI recordings and transcriptions are easy to share and store for future use. By the end of this lesson, each participant will be able to digitally transcribe personal speaking or conversations, generate digital transcriptions of audio and video productions, and establish how to digitally store and transmit created Otter AI data. Hello and welcome. Once again, my name is William Clark and welcome to the lesson on Otter AI, Innovative Collaborative Adult Learning. Before we get started and ensure we get the basics set up on how to begin learning about Otter AI and establishing the learning objectives, I'd like to take a brief introduction to show you how simply this really is. I'm going to hit the icon, open up the application, and then I hit the blue button and Otter AI records everything that it hears, whether coming out of my mouth anybody else's mouth or from a previous recording on YouTube or any social media until we either pause or stop it so we can be saved. But before we begin learning how to do these things, we need to get set up. I would like to take this moment to also go over the assessment that we will have. So during this lesson, we can capture things that we can do better to make this learning more applicable for Otter AI and the adult learner, or things that we can constructively criticize to make things better for the future. To complete the assessment, we will use flipgrid.com. And as you can see on the top, enter a join code. There will be our group name, and there is our join code to the right, Clark2705. You also need a user ID, which you can see for your name in the chart below. 
I'd like to take a few seconds to show you each question to be answered during the assessment. You can pause this production and take a picture and write them down, or if you feel comfortable, you can use Otter AI right now to say the questions and record them on your own. All right, let's get set up so we can begin working on our learning objectives. I have an Android here. The iPhone is very similar. I'm going to go to my App Store, my Google Play Store. And I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to type in O T T E R period A I search. On the very top, there's going to be a white square that in blue resembles the letters O T T E R. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click install. It might take a few seconds here. But once it's fully installed, it'll be really easy to locate. I'll hit open, and there it is. But if I exit out, as you can see, the app is now part of my phone. I'm going to log right back in, and it brings us to this screen. Let's see how it looks on our computers. Okay. I'm on my tablet now, and just like with the smartphone, I'm going to go to the search bar and type in O-T-T-E-R dot A-I, enter. It takes me to the Otter front page. Let's explore a little bit before we come closer to learning our learning objectives. As you scroll down, this is a great front page to really show you a lot of the things that Otter AI can do. As you can see, it works with any device and you can sign up for free. Now there's a free account, but there's also Otter Pro where it allows you to do more formatting than the free certs. Create your Otter account. We're gonna click on that. And you can use any email you would like affiliated with a school or a business or your own personal. For security reasons, I'm going to make a free account for today's lesson with one of my personal emails. I typed in my personal email, then it asked me for to create a password, and then it asked for my first name and last name and brought me to this screen. I'm going to click on Google Calendar Connect. I'm going to allow. I'm going to hit next. Connect. Okay, now that we're at the home screen of otter.ai and ready to begin learning, we're going to have three learning objectives today that once you master them using Otter AI in your everyday activities should be very simple. I will recommend to you, please pay attention because I have three practical application exercises to be conducted after the last learning objective to reinforce that we know, understand how to apply and analyze what Otter AI can do for us to help us in the future. Learning Objective 1. Execute and explain how to digitally transcribe your voice with otter.ai. All right, we are back here on the personal computer or the tablet version of Otter at the home page after we have logged into our newly created account. I'm going to go up here to this blue record button, click on it one time, and it automatically begins recording anything that I say or anything that it hears. I can push pause, 
and I can continue talking, but it will not record anything. And I can hit pause as many times as I'd like until I'm ready to complete my transcription. I'm gonna unclick pause, just like I was going over some notes that I've written or something that I've, I'm reading that I wanna make sure I have for the future until I've read the last note that I wanna take. And then I will push the stop button. Okay, I just hit the stop button and it brings me back to the home page. Now there's two things, two ways that I can find what I just created. Number one, recent activity right here on the home page. Says note is ready. The top one is the newest one that was created. I'm gonna click on that one time. And there it is. That is what we just created. Or I can go up here to the left, my conversations, and hit one. And it's right there as well. Click on it once. And there it is. And that is how to make a transcription with your own voice with otter.ai. Learning Objective 2. Generate digital transcriptions of audio and video productions with otter.ai. Okay, we're back at our home page here. I'm going to go ahead and click record again, just like we did earlier. I'm going to go to the modules inside Canvas. And scroll down to a YouTube video or a lecture. We'll use this one. And it's recording. Blended learning is an innovative approach to learning, offering the way education is delivered. As I watch and learn, Otter is simultaneously taking all notes from anything it hears from this digital lecture. That's enough. I'm push pause. Go back up to my Otter. I'm going to push stop. And just like in the first learning objective, as you can see, the top one, it's still processing what we just created from that YouTube video. Click on it. And yes, it included what I said as well. But as you can see, it recorded what was going on being said in that YouTube video. Right there, just let us know our conversation is ready. I can also go to my conversations and it's right there as well. Learning objective three, establish how to digitally store and transmit Otter AI data. Okay, let's learn how to store for future use what we just created watching the YouTube video. So there's two different ways. Come up here for our recent activity or hit our conversations and it's also right there. Now that we have pulled up what we want to save, we're gonna go up to the right here, these three little dots. Two ways we can save it, either in a text or the audio. Let's start off with the text. Now the free version will allow us to export the format via clipboard or text. For a monthly fee, the pro version, it allows us to export in other ways. 
For today, we're just going to use text and hit continue. It'll come down here. We're going to click on the arrow. Show in folder. Okay, so it just saved it to our computer. As you can see, it's in the C drive. But I think I want it in a saved folder on my desktop. So I'm going to come down, copy. I'm going to go to my desktop, otter.ai presentation. I'm going to double click, paste, and there it is. Just so I remember what it is, I'm going to rename it. Learning Objective 2 Text. And there it is. Or, if I want to save the audio version, I'll go to Export Audio. There it is again. Down to the left, show in folder, same process, and there it is. As you can see, it downloaded from Otter on the internet to my computer C drive. But again, I'm going to copy it, go to the desktop, Otter AI presentation, and I'm going to paste it in there. And once again, I'm going to rename it. Learning Objective 2. If I double click it, it will open. I'm going to go to. I think it's recording. Learning Learning is an innovative approach to learning, improving the way education is delivered as I watch and learn. And it has saved what we recorded earlier. Okay, we just finished learning objective three. This concludes the learning portion, teaching the objectives of what I think the basic foundation of important methods Otter AI can use to assist us in our everyday daily lives. Take a few moments to go over the learning objectives, maybe review them and prepare, because shortly, We'll be doing a nice practical application. All right, it's time to see how much we've learned. Now that you have seen what the three practical application exercises are, take a few minutes to pause this video, do your best, see what friction points occur. But hopefully, you've learned enough to be able to apply Otter for yourself. Good luck. All right, well, I hope you were victorious to complete the three practical applications. And now, let's go over them together. Practical application one. Make a list of five things to do for your educational goals by digitally transcribing your voice with otter.ai. Okay, to make a list, I'm going to need to make a new recording. I'll go up here to record. Five goals for my educational future. One, create a resume. Two, create a business card. Three, look for an area of where I would like to 
continue my education or live in the future. Four, look for the job market in that area. Five, call the university and discuss tuition assistance and the financial output I will be overcome. And let's stop. That's five things. And I have completed practical application one. My note is currently processing. Practical application two. Generate 10 seconds of digital transcriptions of a YouTube production of Bloom's Taxonomy with otter.ai. Okay, we're going to have to make another new recording. Record. Go up to YouTube. Bloom's Taxonomy appears. Or that one. Writing's not that easy. But Grammarly can help. This sentence is now it says 30 a seconds of ads. I go here and I can pause and wait for the actual lecture to begin. Skip ads. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to push pause again. I'll go back to the beginning. Begin recording again. Bloom's Taxonomy is a toolbox that teachers or students can use to classify and organize learning objectives. Its most popular version is based on the cognitive... And there's 10 seconds. That I'm going to pause it. Go back to Otter. Stop. My note is ready. Taxonomy. Double check just to make sure. Yes, that's it. Practical application three. Digitally transmit and store what you created in practical applications one and two in a folder on your desktop. Okay, in order to store practical application one and two, I'm gonna go in order. Tuition assistance, future, this is practical application one. Open it up. Go up here to the right. Export text. Format text. Continue. Come down. Show in folder. There it is. So I'm going to copy it. Put it to my desktop. Auto AI presentation, paste, and there it is. I'm going to rename it so I know what it is. Practical application one. I'm going to go out of there. Taxonomy. Open it up. That's practical application two. Export text. Continue. Go back down. Same process applies. Show in folder. And there it is. I'm going to copy it from my C drive to my desktop. Auto AI presentation, paste it, I'll rename it, so I know what it is, double check them, there's one, and there's the other. Go back home and prepare for something else to do.
To summarize today's lesson, we have gained a lot of knowledge and understanding about Otter AI and how it can transcribe voice into text on multiple different means of interface with different technology or to just keep it simple with our voice. We've applied these three learning objectives very transparent to the three practical applications that we accomplished together. Hopefully, being able to analyze those practical application scenarios, you'll be able to take this information to synthesize and evaluate in your own lives how our AI can work the best for you. I'm going to close with reviewing the assessment one more time to be completed. The digital assessment is not an assessment about the presentation. Rather, and most importantly, it's an assessment to be completed by you, the participant, to judge your competency and to assess your learning and the accomplishment of the learning objectives and the content provided in the lesson of Otter AI. Additionally, this learning should contribute to your digital literacy skills and perhaps motivate you to learn more about Otter AI and other technological learning resources for the future. Thank you very much for being a part of this outstanding experience learning Otter AI. It has helped my life and I look forward to hearing how it has helped for yours. Have a great day. Thank you.